Hey guys, Lumberjack, Lumberjack, I'm back. Uh, really happy to be here to make another video. Um, oh yeah, that's a great start. Computer is almost dead. <laughs> so yeah, I just uh, I decided to record uh, my replay of uh, the last, the latest league I, I played. Uh, Sporter alert! <laughs> it was a 5-0. Uh, right before I had a 3-2 and a 4-1. Uh, still on reclaimer list uh, with the Fiend Artisan. It's kind of a mix with the Legacy, uh, the Legacy Health we see. Uh, I know Elo Newton has been working a lot on Legacy uh, stuff. I enjoyed that list in Legacy, and uh, it's so good. Fiend Artisan is a house. And I wanted to do something kind of similar, but in modern. So yeah, that's the list I have. Um, so I wanted to do, make a little de deck tech uh, to do a little deck tech. I know I don't know if you can pass if you don't like that. <laughs> uh, you will have the game right after. But yeah, here is the deck list. I'm still on uh, six dork, and I play only one heritage shirt. I know a bunch of people will say that that's crazy. What are you doing? Heritage shirt is one of the best cards in the deck. Heritage shirt is good. I know it's really good, and I play one because I, I really like the card, and I have a bunch of tutors, so it's easy for me to to like go grab it when I need it. Thing is, it can be a awful draw. If we play against a heavy removal deck, it's kind of a bad card because. It's hard to keep a lot of body on board, uh, and if we keep a body on board, it's usually some insect, a, f a big feed artisan, and at one point maybe a devoted druid, and we just win. So yeah, uh, I'm only playing with one heritage druid. I'm still on the reclaimer, and Bajuka Bog. I like that engine, cause like reclaimer can get a Yavimaya, cause I still play Yavimaya right down there. Uh, so yeah, there's a yeah, the Yavimaya. I can get the Yavimaya, I can get the Buseju, I can get the Bujuka Bog, I can bounce them and use them uh, as I wish. Like with all the Breach deck around and Murktide and everything, having a Yavimaya and a Bujuka Bog with a Quarren Ranger is pretty darn good. They have to kill the Quarren Ranger at one point, and if they put the focus on Quarren Ranger, we can kill them with Devoted right after because Quarren Ranger can like bounce that Bujuka bug every turn and like exalt the grave. So I still have that. Uh, I now have a layer of Hydra, layer of the Hydra. It's really, really good. I like the card uh, with Devoted because Devoted Vizier and layer, layer of the Hydra is, is game. It do not have a blocker. So it's pretty good. Something people might think is special is I now have 10 fetches. I know it's a lot. I know 10 fetches sounds a lot, but I play Reclaimer and Reclaimer need land in the grave. Uh, I play three color. I want to have access to my black card and my white card. And 10 fetch at one temple is 11 way to get white mana. 10 fetch and two overground tomb is 12. That's not a lot, but that's enough. Like that's enough. 11 and 12 is more than enough to get access to the color we need. Also with Quarren Ranger, I want to have a forest on board like pretty much every turn. I want to, to be able to use that effect. And with 10 fetch, 2 forests, 2 overground, a temple garden and a Yavimaya, I have plenty of forest source. So I can bounce pretty much all of my land. So Quirin Ranger is never dead, and Quirin Ranger is really good. So like 10 fetch, I know it sounds crazy, but we are an aggro, aggro deck with combo. We can go mid range. We have a Yavimaya if we need to keep our fetch painless, but 10 fetch didn't felt bad at all, cause later on we don't want want to draw them, and uh, yeah, I still have one Dryad Arbor, so. It's okay with the fetch. Also, Dryad Arbor with the Tyvar is really good because if we have Tyvar on board and we need mana, we can fetch a Dryad Arbor, 
tap it, untap it with the, the, the tire bar. So one fetch can count as two then if we get go get the dry arbor. Other than that, Fiend Artisan, Fiend Artisan get uh, it's a kind of a birding pod. It's another tutor. With Korean Ranger, we can tutor two card, so pretty good. I have one main board endurance. Uh, I might switch the main board endurance for one mass vandal because I already have Bujuka Buck. It's an idea from someone on the Discord, and I really like that. Like endurance could might go to the side, and I will bring in mass vandal as a another elf because it's a shape shapeshifter and a nice tutor target if we need to destroy uh, something game one an artifact or an enchantment and also mass will work well with uh, Tyvar. so uh, i still have the warmaster devoted as usually i have uh, two two grist um again we can tutor for the card it's a removal it's something hard to get rid of uh so yeah Two grist and I play three Tyvar. I might go up to four. It's uh, it's really good. I love Tyvar. Tyvar was made for the Voted Druid. Let's face it, the card is amazing. It's amazing in Elf if you are playing the Voted Druid. I don't think Tyvar is good enough with Arch Druid or uh, Shaman of the Pack and everything else. Um, we don't want to bring back War Master unless we, you are winning or you have nothing else. We don't want to bring back a Dwinnens Elite, we want to bring back the Devoted Druid or the Fiend Artisan, so we can get other pieces. Or an Heritage Druid. It depends on the, the game, but most of the time, the reason why we play Tavar is for Devoted Druid, Vizier, and win. Uh, I have one final Devastation, four Court of Calling, so five card to tutor. Um, I like that ratio. Like. Final is another win con also. I really like that, that ratio. Uh, another thing is Final Devastation can get you back the grist from the grave and kill stuff. So, yeah. Uh, this is the main board. If you have any question, feel free to ask. I'm pretty much everywhere on Facebook, Discord. I have a Twitter. You can comment. Um, so, yeah. Uh, if you if you have any question go ahead by the way please guys if you if you want to support me and help me please just subscribe give it a little like button and it will help me I I, I want to do more video uh, now that I own the card and I don't have to rent them I will probably try to make more video I don't know if I will be able to record live play cuz with the audio and everything it's not really that good because i live in the forest almost but i want to do more video i want to be uh to help others and work on elf uh, is the type I, is the, the the type i like uh, i've been playing Elf for years so yeah just give a little like subscribe help me grow the channel please um so for the sideboard I'm playing with the Contentment Priest here. Reason is for Harkin, mostly against uh, Creativity, but it's also good against like any other Cascad deck, any like Yogmoth Reanimator. So it's a nice card. Uh, Perenton, that's the MVP. Ugh, that's the MVP. Like there's red everywhere. Fury, Lightning Bolt, Honolulu Heat, Fire and Ice, and everything else. Like Burrington is crazy. I love that card. I really love. I really love that card. Uh, turn one Berenton into turn two Devoted to protect it is amazing. Shriekma, just a removal. The reason I go for Shriekma is because it's a creature. So if I use Tyvar and mill two Shriekma and uh, I don't know anything else, if the two Shriekma would have been like fail push, it didn't grow. It, it can grow my Fiend Artisan or other stuff. So yeah, two Shriekma. Uh, I'm on two Force of Vigor. In paper, I play three, and I cut a Shriek Moth for an another Vigor. But yeah, uh, sorry about that. So two two Force of Vigor, and two more Endurance with one main board. That's just like it's the best. Grave hate. I play Scavenging Goose. Reason I play Scavenging Goose and Mass Vindal is because they work well with Tyvar. Uh, two Crime Punishment for every token. In paper, I think I like. 
I, I play with EE, so I'm not really sure which one I like the most. Both have pro and cons. Maybe EE is better because we can pop it instant speed, but yeah, to deal with the token. And Soulless Jailer to, uh, for every Cascade deck and um, these other stuff. Like, it stopped them from playing the, uh, the Exile, so I think it's a nice hate card. So yeah, that's the deck list. On for the game, guys. Alright, so game number one. Um, I know it's replay. Hopefully, uh, that's good enough for you guys. Uh, so, uh, here I kept that hand because I had a couple of Queer Ranger and a Lenore Elf. Uh, other than that, I would have Mulligan to get my land drop. So here against Titan, uh, I know I, I know that they played the, the new the new Crazy Land, and I was kind of scared because I didn't have a combo piece, and um, I, I'm playing only with uh, I'm playing only one force uh, uh, two force of vigor, so not having the Three force of vigor, kind of scary against them, but yeah, I decided to go like play like, War Master, play a bunch of stuff. Uh, also, my play might be sloppy a little because when I did the league, kids needed me, but most of the time I had other stuff to do. So yeah, here I decide to like untap my Lenore Elf and bounce my Forest, so I, I was able to gain the Fiend Artisan. It's a play we can we can do sometime. The only matter here is, I, I'm, I don't have a lot of land on board, so it's kind of hard to use the Fiend Artisan at best, at his best. Um, so <clears throat> maybe it was a mistake on my end to to already bounce the land, but on the other hand, I get a Fiend Artisan that can get it devoted and everything else. So, like here. I know, if I remember, I use the Fiend Artisan and I go search for uh, an Heritage Druid and in my head I was able to untap the Fiend Artisan and reuse it again with a bunch of stuff but I think it didn't work because I played uh, the, the current Ranger here. It was a big mistake because I should have uh, played a land, uh, tap the land and tap the land where else use Fiend Artisan, kill the worm as the the, 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 the elf token, uh, go get an heritage druid, uh, use the untap from Queer and Ranger, bounce the forest, untap like a lot more elf, uh, tap, uh, untap the Fiend Artisan, my bad, tap a bunch of stuff, sack and uh, go get a devoted so I, I would have been able to to um, to kill them the turn after. So it was a mistake. Like I said, I kind of play sloppy during that that uh, that game one, and to be honest, I'm kind of lucky because they don't have an amulet on board, and they just play a, a prime time here, and I can easily deal with it with uh, if I go get a Chris. So it's not that bad for me here. If I remember, I will just go get the Chris, kill the, the primeval Titan. And uh, yeah, they, they don't have a, uh, um, a dryad. They don't have a prime time on board. They don't have an hamlet. So I'm able to do stuff in here. Um, <coughs> but they really had a slow start, and I had a slow start too. So here they use the the the, the Valicate on Fien Artisan, which is okay because. Fiend Artisan get me everything and it go only grow and I, I just use the Fiend Artisan to destroy his Titan. So I understand for him the Fiend Artisan is scary and I totally understand. But the second land should have destroyed the Devoted. I don't know why he killed the Average Druid here. Uh, Average Druid is not really good here. But yeah, they leave me with the Devoted and it's enough to win. But I have the final devastation. I just use the final devastation, go get a vizier, use war master, and get the win from there, which is more than enough. Yeah. 
So I go get Vizier, use the War Master, and kill with the combo. So yeah, that, that was game one. Uh, again, I know I've made some sloppy play. I know opponent probably didn't have enough. Uh, without, without the amulet, it's really hard for them. And like... I know we are playing Elf, but we have Mimbo Gris, we have Free Artists, and we have a bunch of stuff. So for us, it's easy to like kill a Titan if it didn't, they didn't attack with it. So let's go to game two. Uh, yeah, let's go to game two. Alright, so match number two. Um, sadly, because I'm recording the replay. I can't really show you the side the sideboarding I did, but I've bring in the Shriek Ma, I've bring in the Force of Vigor. Uh reason for Shriek Ma is because I can kill the Dryad. Uh so I took Shri I take Shriek Ma, Force of Vigor. Uh if I remember I also bring in uh the Mask Vendel, because it's another uh, target with Green Artisan and the Tyvar. And card I've got is the one of mainboard endurance, a butch kebog. Um, I'm trying to remember what I got to. Probably a Gris. Um, maybe a War Master, stuff like that. Like I trim on other, other stuff. But yeah, I bring in two Force of Vigor, two Shriek Ma, and a Mask Vendel. So here, the reason I didn't go for Force of Vigor here right now is they only have one card and I know if they go get the amulet they might play a dryad they might play a, a, a garden so I wanted to, to to get a two for two so that's the reason why so here I think I go for artisan yeah because I want to get my my search online uh, I could have go for the war master but war master do, do nothing on board and next turn I can at least like get stuff and if I get another land I can swap my mystic for devoted and thread the, uh, thread the combo so I think Fiend in here was the best play so again they will go get the amulet and like yeah an expedition map an amulet they probably get the garden here I don't remember no it's only a semi close chamber again I'm waiting like I said, <coughs> there's no reason to destroy the Amulet of Vigor if they have nothing else. <coughs> so, sorry about that. So, I, I, I'm trying to wait because an Amulet of Vigor with nothing else on board is not that scary. And Dryad, Dryad is like the most important piece to kill. So, I, I, I really want to keep that in hand. And here I got a Busiju, which kind of suck because... I like the reason I kept like I didn't play the Basiju and like like I said I could have played the Basiju, kill my mistake, go get the devoted, but I wanted to play like the control game again. Here they play the Dryad, they have an Amulet of Vigor, they will play another land, but I have Force of Vigor, I have access to Basiju, like I can destroy bunch of bunch of cards right now. Maybe there's some merit to play the Basiju, get the devoted. But like I said, I kind of play slo sloppy here. Uh, I don't know if it was a right call. Um, maybe I should have just played with Seiju, get the, the Devoted. So <clears throat> here during my turn, I just win. Because I had a Force of, force of Vigor, which was enough. But still, yeah, I went for that play. But I think the best play would have been uh, play the, the Seiju, sack, and yeah. Here I use a Court of Calling to get the Dryad Arbor. It's a thing I do sometimes because I want to get my ramp on. And since I want to keep the Busiju as a backup, I decide to go with the Dryad Arbor. Again, the best way would have been to play the Busiju and get the Devoted. And during my turn with Devoted, try to hopefully get a land or something. And But here, since I didn't go that 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 play with that play I decide to go get the Dryad Arbor I think it's a nice place to go to get the Dryad Arbor just because we can ramp and we can do our stuff <clears throat> so yeah 
another War Master, which is kind of good. Play War Master, play another. Yeah, I decide to go all in here. I decide to play both War Master because sure they have two bounce land in hand, but uh, on the play, uh, two uh, four, they have four mana on board, but they don't have uh, an amulet. Uh, I just kill a Dryad, so I thought that they might not have enough in hand, and I decide to play all all my ca uh, card on the table right now. Yeah, another Dryad. That was kind of scary, but again, if they play a Dryad, they, they can only have like three more land, which is not a lot enough. So yeah. Here I decide to sag the Dryad if I remember. Get an Heritage. Yeah. <clears throat> this is where I cast a Shriekma. This, this is something nice about Shriekma. It's a removal, but it's also a buddy. Like here they can play the Titan for sure. Yeah. Go get the Titan. They play the big Titan. But they can't give it haste. And uh, yeah, it, it's kind of not enough without the ace, without the amulet. I think I just go uh, go go for another grace, kill the titan again. Yeah, I was playing. <coughs> I was playing like a slow pace game. Try to control the board. Uh, there, like I said, there's some sloppy play. Here is an, a good exa example. I could have go for uh, a devoted and try to do things differently. But <coughs> I had like the elf beat down. It's kind of the plan plan B, and uh, Shriek Moth felt good. And uh, yeah, so that that was game one. Uh, again. Titan, I think, is a really good deck in, in Modern, as we all know, but any deck with like that have access to Force of Vigor, I think can, can beat them. Like If you have two or three Force of Vigor, it's usually enough. We have also Besiege, we have Mass Vendel, we have other stuff, and we have cre Creature Removal, so we can, we can control them and just get the win. All right, so match number two, uh, if I remember correctly, was against Glimpse of Tomorrow here. So this is a really good hand because we have the Lanoir Elf, we have a Hydra, we have a Devoted. Like if we play against, I don't know, a deck that don't play a lot of creature, Lair of Hydra is like a perfect win con. Um, and here the reason why I start with the Lanoir Elf and the Forest and not the Lair of the Hydra is because of Queer and Ranger. There might be a reason for me to go turn to tap Lanoir Elf, uh, tap Forest, bounce that Forest. There might be a reason. Also, it's not that bad because Lair of Hydra on, will still enter untap if uh, it's on turn two. So yeah, I'm fine with that. <clears throat> So Misty Nothing, I was expecting some some sort of ca Cascade deck, but yeah, here I, I go for the War Master and Query Ranger, because I want I want to to deal damage. Like I want to be I want to be fast. I want to be aggro, and seeing the red here, I kind of expect um, I expected like Rhino or something, but when I saw the <coughs> Colony Garden, I knew it was against Glimpse of Tomorrow, and I wanted to have a bunch of stuff on board, just in case they have a Fury or something else when they spin the wheel. <coughs> so here, Dryad Arbor is not a really good draw, but that happened. It's super sweet when we fetch for it, but when we draw it, it's not a good card. So yeah, here I'm just trying to put pressure. 
I'm just trying to put pressure on them. I know they will spin the wheel right now. And um, yeah. And another thing is, it's kind of the first time, two solids in it is not that bad. It's kind of the, the first time I'm playing a, a league without Totsies. So to be honest, here I was kind of scary. I have um, the Soulless Jailer. I have uh, Continent Priest, but I don't have a lot of combo interaction. My idea is, if I play against combo, I want to get devoted and like combo before them. So, and I have Jailer, I can have Janet, I have Priest, we can bring like Gadok, Gadok Teague and other stuff. So, I decide to cut the Totsies and the Chromesha and everything else. To bring some sort of creature hate bear and pair it with Court of Calling. That, that, that's what I want to try. I know it's something my good friend Peter uh, has been has done for a while now. He's a big fan of hate bears and uh, I decided to give it a try. So here is another line I saw some elf player didn't use that line with devoted. Like here Opponent is targeting my uh, my devoted druid with solitude. I saw a lot of player just ex uh, just exile the devoted against the solitude or prismat uh, prisma prismatic ending <coughs> and other stuff. Don't let your devoted uh, druid get exiled. We can kill kill the devoted druid in response of a living end or anything that try to exile it. Just kill it uh, by yourself with a uh, minus one minus one counter so it will go to the graveyard. So you can bring it back with Tybar, Final Devastation, uh, it will help your Scavenging Hoos. If you play Scavenging Hoos it will help your Free Artisan, it will help your stuff. So kill your home Devoted Dread when it gets targeted by stuff. <coughs> it's also Something we can do against a Fury, like if we have a Fiend Artisan on board and a Devoted Druid and they go 2 damage for it to both and we have a 2-2 Fiend Artisan. Just kill your own Devoted and your Fiend Artisan will, will get a boost so it won't die to Fury. That's something I saw a lot of players, they don't do that and it's, it's, it's a small thing, but it's something important I think. So here I do exactly that. I, I kill my home devoted druid so it don't get exiled and I get like the graveyard value later. <laughs> so here yeah, I just lost the game because of they have all the crazy piece and play the Amrakel and everything else like they get an, a second turn and they will just attack and kill me. So here I concede and I lost that game. It was game 2 so like I said I was still sloppy. Uh, when I saw I was playing against this deck, I was pretty much, uh, I almost convinced myself I couldn't win it without Thoughtseize, but yeah, somehow I beat them, and yeah, let's, uh, I will show you in game number two. Alright, so game number two, uh, I think I bring in the Soulless Jailer, and um, yeah, the Jailer and uh, the, 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 the Jailer. Soulless Jailer and Contentment Priest. I think th these are the two I've bring in against him. So, here I decided to keep that, that hand because I had Devoted, I had Court of Calling. I, I had like combo piece to like kill them before they kill me. At least that's what I hope. <coughs> so I play the Devoted. Uh, oh, oh, I think I also bring in against him. I bring in the EE -E, just because I was I could be uh, I could like kill all the token. <clears throat> so here, kind of sad because I didn't play. I didn't draw good stuff. Maybe I should have just played a fiend artisan here. I don't know why I didn't do that. I wanted to court to do something, but that wasn't a good idea, I think. I should have played a Fiend Artisan and like 
get something. Yeah, so here I go for the Court of Calling for two. Get Green Artisan, I think. A oh, Soul Legend. Yeah, here is some. I screwed that up, okay? Um, I should have played a Soul Edge Jailer in response of the Violent Outburst and not in response of the Glyphs of Tomorrow because it's already on the stack. This is where I screwed up. Yeah, I just remember why I played these two instead of Fiend Artisan. The reason was I wanted to court for the Hate Bear, but I missed timing. So yeah, Jailer, if you want to stop Cascade, you need to, to use it in response of the Violent Outburst or the Charlie's Agent. Or Arden Plea. So yeah, that was my mistake. So they spent the will, and to be honest, I was kind of lucky because they didn't have a lot. They used Solitude to, to, to exile the Soulless Jailer, and um, because they want to spell the will again, for sure. But yeah, this is where I missed the timing, and now I know. <laughs> Let's say that now I know. Uh, yeah, I, I, I asked in the chat, but yeah, I made a mistake. Uh, but if I remember, yeah, I got another chord, and I, I'm pretty good to just, like, chord again. So, yeah, I, I kind of win here, unless they have Fury and they, like, they, they do something really crazy. But with two devoted, with an artisan with a chord, I, I can usually, like, if an artisan can get both pieces, takes the square major. So here, I'm just able to combo. The only thing that could happen is if the Reclaimer was a Vizier. Because they Boseju uh, the Temple Garden, I could have been screwed because I only play uh, one Vizier. I play one main board Endurance because I can get my Temple Garden back and fetch it again, but that could have been risky. But I was lucky I didn't draw the, the Vizier. <coughs> so here I just sack two dude, make bunch of mana, Go get the jury and win the game. So, uh, yeah. But yeah, something to remember about Solus Jailer is really you need to 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 have it on board in response of the uh, the Cascade card and not the the the, the, the Living and Glimpse of Tomorrow or, or other stuff. So yeah, I didn't even show him the Court of Calling. Like I don't had to. It was enough. So on to game three. All right. So game three. <clears throat> Here, I, I like that hand because obviously we have the combo and we have a Burinton. Reason I bring uh, I bring Burinton against him is because I know that this deck play tons. But they play for Fury, so I wanted to have my Burinton. Also, another thing, we can fetch and shock, uh, like. We can get everything we want because when they combo, we just lose most of the time. So, yeah, I decide to go Berenton. And another thing I like about Berenton is against any removal deck, is uh, it's a safety button. If we go to Berenton into Devoted and they have to deal with Devoted because they know they could just lose the game on the spot, but that, that Berenton can like. It's like a, a mini giver of room. Like we sack it, we protect from fury, and we can win on the next turn. So yeah, Burrington was kind of the MVP during that league. It's a card I like a lot. So here I can attack freely with the Burrington. I have Burrington to protect the devoted druid. And turn after I can just like go vizier. The only thing I'm scared of is the Boseju. Is the Boseju the Temple Garden? <laughs> Maybe it's something I should uh, work on in the mana base. Maybe I should play two temple to overground to him. But the, the thing is, I don't like to draw too many uh, shockland. Kind of hurt. So yeah, here I just play my hand. So I have an answer. The thing is, I only have one attacker, and I know they they play solitude. So just in case, like. I I attack, sure I can gain like a crazy amount of life because it's, a, it's a, the, the devoted druid if I have a war master on board but I wanted to play my hand just in case because in paper 
if I said I go for 1 million life, opponent will probably concede. But on MTGO, they don't do that. And uh, I, didn't, I didn't want to click like crazy and for 100 life, and they, they could find a way to come back. So I decided to play my hand and have a safety for next turn. So that's the end. I beat Clips on tomorrow here. Um, I was lucky because, like, they mole. They had a legend of the uh, sanctity for protection, but here, like, they had three land. They could have, uh, like, a cascade spell. I know that they, they didn't have a lot of permanent, but I feel like they pretty much have nothing. So I was kind of lucky to get that win, but that happened, yeah. All right, so match number three. Um, if I remember, it was against Mercy. So here is the key. Because we have voted, we have a Winton, we have a Tyvar, so we pretty much have everything. So we can try to combo and get the kill. And the reason I'm for the forest is because I already have a Temple Garden, and I want to gain it. To to maintain my life total, uh, so I can tap, I can play and tap the reason. Also, I have to have my, um, I really like my, my forest for Korean Ranger. So here, the reason I went for a War Master over a Devoted is because I play against the Red Deck. And against the Red Deck, I want them to waste removal on War Master before Devoted, so we can play with Devoted and try to win. Uh, and also another reason why I lose life here with the Temple Garden instead of tapping the Llanowar Elf is because, because I'm ready to offer the trade with the Monkey. That's the biggest reason. Yeah. Like here they attack. I, I, I'm kind of surprised they didn't have removal for at least one of them. But yeah, I feel completely fine. That's another thing also with more mana in your deck. Like, I, I'm playing with uh, 20. It, if you cut the triad as a Bujika Bug, I play with 18. Bujika Bug is still the land, so 19, let's say. And um, that's the reason why I like to have multiple uh, lands. Is because I can, like, Dork always get killed. Or... Most of the time, I will just chump, uh, I will just block and trade with a Ragavan. It's it's worth it. So like here, I just block the Lanoir Elf. I, I just kill my home Lanoir Elf to block the Ragavan, and like they don't get value, and I still have enough land to play my stuff. So it, it's not really a problem. If I remember, I will just go for the Devoted and try to kill them in the turn after, because they didn't they didn't have removal. The Ragavan, and they didn't kill the War Master. So here, I'm pretty sure they they, they like don't have uh, anything. And see, they had an on, on only heat, but that doesn't really matter because we have Tyvar, we have the Court of Calling, we have we get the win, unless they kill the Devoted Druid. I don't remember. Also, um, I I played the Triad Arbor earlier instead of the Overground Tomb just to get more blocker, just in case they have a, a Dash Ragavan or something like that. That's the reason. So here I go for Vizier. They pulled the Trid. So here the nice thing is uh, we, we can get the Artisan and just like pass turn. Seeing only Heat and Lightning Bolt, I feel like kind of weird because they didn't kill the War Master earlier, so maybe both were uh, top deck draw. I don't know. So here's a big Murktide. I don't really care. We have a Chris, so we can just kill that big boy. And we draw the Vizier. Uh, I think that's game because we drew the Vizier here. I don't remember. Yeah, it's game. Play the Vizier. We make uh, infinite mana, and we can just kill. In paper, usually, I, I sometimes I kill the vizier, 
but we can kill the triad arbor go get hedgery and attack with the token and yeah so here it showed the power of tyvar and artisan to be honest like both card kind of stole the game here because we have a big but a big artisan that will go get one of the wincon uh tyvar just get the devoted back and we win that way so it was pretty sweet and easy win so yeah so let's see game two all right so game two like murtai seems like a scary matchup but we can't beat them oh okay um this is where uh i'm on three uh burnton right now so against them I think I bring in the three Burrington. I bring the two Endurance. If I remember correctly, I think I've bring in uh, a Scoose too. I have Shriek Ma. Like honestly, I have a lot and a lot of stuff. The best card to bring against uh, Murktide for me is Burrington and um, is Burrington and Endurance. So this we, we can stop the Grave and Burrington like can block the monkey can protect uh all the all, all of the other creature from fury butter's hood hand uh on only bolt and everything so that this hand is like perfect like turn one go get uh the white source and play a burrington see here they kept they kept the ragavan so we're gonna be fine to block it ragavan doesn't really matter here and uh Good thing is we can also protect uh, a devoted druid if needed. Here I decide to attack because I had another one. If I didn't have another one, I wouldn't attack with this one just because they can like try to kill or do something and yeah. So here is another thing. I have two burn on board. Sure, I have a devoted druid in hand. I have a court of calling, so I can go like infinite. But I don't want to lose my Burrington right now because they still have card in hand. Um, I have three mana and they are building a graveyard. Um, I think it's better to hold the combo for now. They don't have this card anyway. So I think it's better to hold the combo, play an Endurance here, screw the Grave, put pressure with one Endurance and like one Burrington and keep attacking. And then we can play the combo and just just do it carefully like endurance is a beater sure it's graveyard hate but a three four bloody is it's really good so we can attack with it so i think it's better to like sometime take our time we're in a good spot anyway we don't have to rush thing we don't have to play devoted here and, and also if we play devoted we're not mana efficient so we play devoted we still have one mana we don't use and it get kills i will like have i will have to sack a, a burrington to keep it alive and if i don't draw a wincon I, I can't really do a thing so i think here the perfect line is endurance during hand of turn i will like play a bunch of stuff and here i was considering um play endurance in, in response of the consider but the thing is they they put a land in the grave so if if, if that land was a spell i would have played endurance but since it was a land i thought to myself maybe open it will play greedy and will try to like get a big a better merc type a bigger merc type but <clears throat> during the end phase i will still try to endurance them and they have a counter spell anyway so Kind of sucked, but that happened. <clears throat> so here I can. Oh, I didn't attack. I don't know why I didn't attack here. I should have attacked. I missed a point of damage. Like I said, my three first game, uh, I had to. Oh, I, I wanted to court. That's right. But still, the three first game, uh, I was taking care of the kids at the same time, and uh, my play were, weren't the best. So yeah, I, I wanted to cord. It's fair. Okay, it's all good. Cord. They try to kill the dude. It's okay. Here, I let my devoted druid die, just because um, I didn't have a win con. So 
I thought to myself it would be better to get an artisan and put pressure with the artisan over get a protecting my devoted druid and like do nothing with it. Also with artisan, one nice thing I had, I had a, a, a dryad harbor ready. So during my turn, I, I would have been able to like fetch for a dryad harbor, sack it for another artisan and put pressure with two big body. So another cord, yeah, I was kind of lucky here. And I will main phase it because they're tap out. That, that, that That's one thing. And they have a big graveyard. So here I, I will just go get an endurance and like stop the graveyard. And they can't really kill the endurance because they don't have on the, they don't have delirium and bolt is not enough. So, and if they offer to train, if they attack with Dragoman, I'm ready to block and let the endurance die from a bolt. So yeah. But see how the Burnton really do work here? They can't really attack, they can't do a thing here. So I can start with putting pressure. It's the exact I have the exact same board as I said earlier with the endurance. Endurance just keep on bringing pressure with the Burnton and I have an Elvish Reclaimer ready. I don't think it will survive. Yeah, the counter it. But still, that reclaimer would have been good because it would have been another 3 4 body to put pressure. See, that's another thing about um, reclaimer. Why I'm always saying it's one of the best standalone health. Like, Elvish Reclaimer was my top deck. If it was a dork, it would have sucked to have a dork uh, as a top deck. Um, and Reclaimer, it was still a 1-2 body, but I had a fetch and I was able to like go get a Bujuka Bog and screw the graveyard again. So I really like Elvis Reclaimer just because it's a strong body. Um, in here, I, I press pause. So we can see I bring in 2 Crime Punishment. Sometimes I bring in the EE. Reason I do that is because our 1 CMC aren't really worth it, other than Reclaimer sometimes because it's a beater. Most of the time, their 1 CMC are better, like Ragavan, Darcy. So, having a EE or a Punishment on 1 can be good against them. And if they have like 2 or 3 Ledger Shredder on board, I like to kill them all. I, I know that it can hurt Devoted, it can hurt uh, Fiend Artisan, but we have Tyvar, we have... Um, and Rens, we have Grace, we have other stuff to put pressure, and they don't have a lot of creature. So if I use a Punishment or a E on multiple Ledger Shredder, all they, they have to put pressure is Darcy and uh, Murktide at this point. So we can deal with Murktide uh, thanks to Grace and like Darcy. Uh, we have Endurance and we have other stuff. So it's we got things to cover here. So yeah. Yeah, I wanted to get my black source just in case. <clears throat> Sadly, I can't attack anymore with my Burrington, but I still have some nice buddy to block and everything. So <clears throat> here's another game where um, we will see that Fiend Artisan is really good. Like it's a five-five buddy, it put pressure. It like open and has to block it. It's they kind of screw here. <clears throat> they consider it. they need to find something. I think they have, yeah, they, they, they have an anomaly heat. And here I will protect it because that Fiend Artisan is really good and protect the Fiend Artisan will only grow it. So I wanted to keep my Fiend Artisan around. The player I give, I don't really care about that. I have a Crime Punishment, it's a safety here. I don't really have to use it, but. <clears throat> So here I can continue putting pressure on them, and yeah, maybe here I should have played a Vizier just to get a sack with this Define Artisan, but well, I didn't, and it doesn't really matter, but I could have played a Vizier and like get a search, maybe a Quern Ranger so I can have a, a Vigilance Define Artisan. Alright, they're trying a bunch of stuff, iteration from the top always, it's kind of crazy, that card is so good. They need to do something about that card. And yeah, they went out of gas, I had two big body on board, um, they couldn't attack, Fiend Artisan put pressure, it's still 
like too huge and yeah another easy win against Murktide. I think patience control are the name of, name of the game against them uh, we can wait we can control them we have stuff to block them we have stuff to kill they don't have a lot of threats so if we kill the, 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 the creature were pretty good and honestly Fiend Artisan can get out of uh, only range which is amazing and Burrington is like one of the best card against them so yeah on to game 4 guys so match number 4 uh, this is where I decide to go like to play tight and like be careful of my game I was 3-0 and um, so I told the kids and my wife, can you leave me alone just a bit? I want to get my 5-0. So yeah. Um, and exactly when I said I want to play tight, I want to play like a good game and everything, I want to be careful, I saw that I was playing against Scam. <laughs> and that really sucked. So yeah, I'm losing life here, playing my Mystic. Um, and they have a fair Ragavan, but I'm happy because they have a fair Ragavan, but they don't have um, they don't have removal, so I can keep my my dude around. And uh, here, uh, I will just like play the devoted, and I can combo. Like, pretty sure I will get something discarded kill, but I have to try it, right? So, and uh, I play the Bujuka bug here. Uh, I know that I, I'm not exiling nothing, but at least it's a land. Next turn I will have my land drop and everything. So, yeah, I will have my access to my land. So, so here I will take a hit from the the monkey, and all I do is praying. Like I hope I can like I hope I I I, I, I dodge removal. And honestly, I did like. They play Dottie, they play Malanoral, they still have a land. So I'm pretty sure they have a Bolt or something, but like, I have to go for it. I have to try at least. So here I will just try to combo, I think. I will go get Vizier. And uh, yeah, when I saw that they didn't deal with the, the, the Devoted Dread, I went crazy. I was like, oh shit, I, I will really beat uh, Scam that easy it was kind of nuts and again i know it's it's luck because they didn't have the grief they didn't have the fury they didn't have any removal or maybe they play they had removal in a hand and they just didn't respect the deck that could be something too so yeah i just went for the combo i went for cord into izuri and we'll just went from there um and yeah, sure it's luck, but still, it worked. <laughs> it worked. And again, I decided to play my end before using the cord into Israel, just because if something happened, like they have a removal, or whatever, I still want to to have multiple body on board. And I was able to also use Warmaster as an as an answer to something. So yeah. Um, here I don't know why the opponent doesn't concede, maybe he thinks he can do something, I don't know. But yeah, it's a win, a fast win against Scam, which is great. Um, game 2 and Game 3 are, aren't that easy. <laughs> so yeah. Again, I don't know why he's like not conceding here. Maybe maybe it was pissed off. Pretty sure he had maybe Fury in hand, and uh, maybe he had Fury. He had uh, grief and other stuff, and he just didn't respect the deck, and it was like, oh, that's only elf. I don't know. So yeah, can put damage on board, and that's it. Game one is done. Pretty easy. <laughs> All right, so. Uh, Game two against Scam. Uh, against Scam, I just bring in the Endurance. Uh, I bring the Burrington, and um, I think that's it. I bring the Scoos too, because the reason I'm playing Scoos is just because it'll work with Tyvar. I can like bring it back, so yeah. 
that's for me is a good reason that's for me is a good reason so yeah and yeah they 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 had the the crazy the crazy turn turn one with grief and everything else so here i will just go devoted and hopefully i can kill them but yeah <laughs> they know now that i have a combo so they decide to just kill easily the, the devoted i still have another devoted ready so i'm taking the damage hopefully they 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 drop like something bad and i'm able to to win like I already decided to play the artisan because I can double block. Yeah, that's the reason why. I'm about to kill it again. And good thing is artisan eat a removal, so it's kind of good because I have I have the combo in hand. I have devoted, I have cord, I have Izuri. I can like win from there. So I'm able to to hit a couple of more damage from the grief and artisan getting the getting a removal spell was good for me so here i don't remember if they have removal yeah they have removal so yeah here i'm kind of screwed but yeah i didn't draw then i think yeah i didn't draw then not drawing a lane here kind of hurt so yeah i lost i don't remember why i didn't concede i don't like to concede to be honest i like to play my out and hopefully see what i can draw and Yeah, I had another grief, and I just concede I don't want to reveal my hand. Uh, I almost had him, but yeah, that that's typical um, scam. All right, so match three. This match is nice. I like this match. I had Burinton. I had uh, I had my stuff, and again, Burinton will be the real MVP. Burinton is just that good. And they still have the grief, the, the, the crazy stuff. And something that suck is they have the Undying Malice. This one is better because they put a plus one plus one counter. So yeah. I <clears throat> Yeah. So yeah. And here I don't have a thing. I need to draw stuff. And I drew an entrance, which is amazing. Uh, I didn't attack. Uh just because in case they have a ragadash bolt good thing is i keep my parenting around i go get my land uh and here is where i'm i kind of feel safe like i have an endurance i i here it's a line i think a little because if i block they might have an undying spell they have four card in hand but like I need to try, I need to do something, so I decided to block with Endurance and Burinton here. I didn't have a choice, I think. Uh, it's still a 4, and honestly here I'm kind of surprised. They killed the Burinton and not the Endurance. I get that they have a bunch of removal and red card and maybe a Fury and everything else, but I feel like they should have left me with the, the Burinton and not the Endurance. Anyways. So I can attack, and with the Crane Ranger, it's nice. I can at least untap it and like do stuff. So here, I'm pretty happy because I have um, access to Court of Calling and probably Artisan, which is a 4-4, and I can start putting pressure on them. So uh, yeah, that endurance was really good, and here I, can, I draw a Tyvar. Th this is where everything like went back good for me uh i drew an endurance uh, i was able to double block they didn't have an undying card uh, I, I was able to put my artisan on and i drew a tyvar again all of these cards are nice like artisan tyvar endurance because they are a good mid-range card so i'm able to like play my tyvar and i decide to bring back the burinton sure i have another artisan it's something i thought about but i think burinton is uh needed just because of the they might have a fury so yeah and they have a ragavan burnton can block like forever and here i just attack put pressure kind of like 
bring more damage i can use the untap and untap i decide to untap here um i decide to sack untap that line it was kind of weird but yeah what i did is uh, i untap my fiend artisan uh, if i remember I on top of Fiend Artisan with Crane Ranger, I sacked the, the Vizier to get another Burinton, and I used the Tyrar to untap Endurance as a blocker. So, yeah, I decided to use the Fiend Artisan for another Burinton just because of how good the card is. So, they play Season Problem and here. They need to draw something here. And uh, something, something I kind of forgot was. Um, get Sugu. So I, I went with two Burnton and then later I was thinking to myself, I was like, hmm, this Igetsugu could be so good here. So I was kind of scared about that card. And here we go. <laughs> Igetsugu. But I, I still sack my own uh, Burnton to prevent damage from this the, the season Pyromancer. Uh, I still have the I still have access to an endurance. I still have my Tyvar like it didn't feel that bad, and Fiend Artisan is still strong for a turn, so yeah. Like, I was able to, to deal with stuff. Here they attack the Fiend or uh, the, the Tyvar, but I prevent the damage already, so I don't block. And yeah, I don't block, and I'm ready to, to just kill them on the swing back, so yeah. That win against Cam felt really good, uh, so on for the last match. Alright, so match number 5, here's the last match, and it was a nice one, uh, I was playing against a wall deck, which was different and nice, so here I had a couple of land in my hand, so I wanted to like draw better, so I decided to fetch just to tend the deck, so I uh, I might have a chance to not draw land and draw better. That's why I didn't play Vizier turn one. And here I had like one last into Korean Ranger, which is a pretty good like follow. That's the reason why I don't want to cut Warmaster. I still like the card a lot for all of these little things. Like we have enough one CMC, we have enough uh elf to make it work. And um it's a win con. So, yeah. Uh, here, I almost have everything right now. I have Tyvar, I have Fiend Artisan, I have like pretty much everything. So, oh, and I got, I got the, the, the Devoted with Tyvar. I think here, I just decided to try it and see if it will work, and it did. So, we have the win. Tyvar is amazing here. So, on to game number two. Alright, so game number two. Game number one, I was like kind of lucky because I used Tyvar and only I only have four devoted druids, so it might not be enough, but I was lucky enough to get it. So here, um, I decided to, to start with Yavi Maya uh, because I like to hit four land, at least four land. So I start with the Yavi Maya. If I draw another land, it's all good. Um, and yeah, I went with Devoted, I played a Verdon, and I will just get, go get my Overground Tomb for later. Here, when, uh, what I sideboarded and out was, if I remember, I got Endurance, I got, um, I got Endurance, I got Budge Kabog and other stuff. I wanted to, to play the Shriek Ma because it's a removal, so let Jailer stop Ephemerate and everything, so I want to play uh, Solace Jailer too. I think it stopped if I'm right. Let me know if it doesn't. Maybe I maybe I'm wrong. And um, I know you, you just saw that um, the prismatic ending, the devoted dread, and I kill it uh, with the, the more, uh, minus one minus one. Um, so yeah, like I said earlier, it's a good reason. It's a good thing to do because we keep. A creature in the graveyard with uh, Tyvar with Fiend Artisan is really good to have. Here I don't have a lot to do. Uh, he, he's got a big wall. I have a Solar Shaler to hopefully stop a couple of bounce shenanigan, but I, I I don't have a lot. So Reclaimer will like 
turn the deck because I will be able to like destroy my forest and go get something else. That's what I want to do. And um, yeah, I I think I never really got to draw good stuff here. I don't remember. Like sure, I have the layer of Hydra. Uh, I could attack, with it, but a three four three five body is kind of huge. Here, my opponent. I don't know if he saw the line, but I decide to make a huge layer of Hydra and block the wall. Layer of Hydra is really, really, really good. Like I know it's another semi combo piece, but it's still like a really good card. Yeah, subtlety. The the. That that was the beating. I put Izuri bottom. Maybe that that was wrong, but the reason I I put it bottom is because um, since I I saw Subtlety, he have he, he had five card in hand and now six. I thought maybe he got more Subtlety and that could be bad for me. So I wanted to draw a devoted or. A, a tie bar like I wanted to see something better than Isery so I could maybe combo in with the game which I didn't I didn't have so I just lost that game uh, I kind of dropped poorly to be honest but that subtlety really hurt me when I played as Isery because I, I could have won the game uh, about Soulless Jailer I don't know if it's good enough but and uh, that's a matchup where I really like um, more removal like that creature is really 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 good and if I had a fail push or more shrigma maybe I could have dealt with this and yeah anyway on to game uh, number number three and uh, yeah I was <laughs> I was getting stressed right now because I really I really wanted that 5-0 all right so game four game three for the for the last match here I have a street mod I have also have uh, the priest um, priest is good because it stop um, it stop um, uh, all the ephemerate the, the, the creature that enter with ephemerate so I think it would it would that way so if a creature would enter the battlefield it wasn't cast exalted so the idea is to bring stuff that deal with the uh, soul herder and kind of stop them. So that's what I wanted to do. Uh, here, they they went to kill the 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 the, the Korean ranger, kind of hurt, and now the war master. But yeah, I think I will just like. Yeah, I, I have Fiend Artisan, so I think it's pretty easy here to just win the game. And also, my my, my opponent had to mulligan, I think, game, uh, at the start of the game. would kind of hurt him, sadly. But here, I will just go get Vizier. Um, yeah, I will just, just go get Vizier with Fiend Artisan, make ton of mana, get the Izuri, and win. So, yeah, the combo was pretty pretty good during all the, the the league I was really happy to get that 5-0 to be honest and uh, yeah this felt super good uh, so yeah get the win here GG so post league uh, after 5-0 pretty happy with the list I love it uh, we have a couple of uh, flex but I would say in the main board uh, I think the endurance, main, the, the main board endurance could code in the sideboard and I might play a mass mental instead in the main board just so I have the reclaimer package as a graveyard hate and artisan can fetch me a, a mass mental so I can exile uh, artifact or enchantment in game one if it's problematic. Uh, other than that, I know some people aren't sold on the reclaimer package with Bojukabog and it's okay like if you want to cut that package and you want to have another Tyvar maybe more final devastation and go like more of a combo route or you can even cut the reclaimer in the bug for more heritage druid and maybe uh, try to have a more elf ball 
team with the deck, but we don't run Realm Walker and Leaf Gun with Visionary, so I don't think you really want to go Health Ball. But maybe a more combo route if you cut a Reclaimer and Butchko Bug could be something done. Uh, other than that, I love the mana base right now. Uh, I have a Yavimaya here, just down there. And uh, yeah, mana base is sweet. 10 fetch is not too many. Believe me, 10 fetch work, it's good. Uh, I'm pretty much never mana screw. If I'm mana screw in a way, I can reclaim her, go get the, the color I need, and like jam the card the turn after. So yeah, main board is sweet. It's something I like. I know it's only one heritage druid, but one seems more than enough. I, maybe two, maybe two. Uh, three, I think, is may maybe too many, but one felt super good because we have Tyvar, we have Cord, we have Final, we have Artisan. Uh, I usually never want an Heritage Druid if I don't have a War Master on board anyway. So if I have a War Master, there is a way to go get that Heritage Druid and make mana. Lair of the Diadra is one of, it's an amazing card. I want to keep it. Besides you as a, only a one of. Um, I used to run two, but I decided to run one more fetch instead of the Buseju just because I want more mana fixing color. Because we are playing with the uh, three color. As for the sideboard, uh, for me, um, I will put there. Okay, so for me, uh, the Soulless Jailer and the Priest are flex spot. The Punishment and or EE are flex spot. The two Shriekma are flex but two. So these nine cards for me are, are a must. If you don't like the ooze, you can just play three endurance. It's all good. Uh, four endurance with the ones my main board. But they're a must. Uh, Force of Vigor is just too good. I wanna play three. Burrington is the best creature in the sideboard we can bring. Because usually if we play against a red deck one uh, a red deck, we will cut like to Mystic, Aquarian Ranger, or something like that, the Heritage, no, I, I would keep the Heritage, but to Mystic, Aquarian Ranger, and maybe other stuff, and we bring in the three, the three Burnton. I even think about maybe going for Burnton, but that might be too much. Um, so yeah, Priest, Jailer, the two Punishment, and the Shriekma are all, um, flex but it could be more removal all of these could be fatal push jailer could be something else pretty same uh reason i played both of them is because it's a metal call but yeah uh we can like tweak the list and uh change different stuff we like but i think these nine cards are a must and main board yeah, we want the combo, we want Fin Artisan is a must, Devoted, etc, etc. So, yeah, this is the deck. Hope you enjoyed the league. Uh, and please subscribe, leave a like. Uh, it will help me grow the channel. Now that I own the card, I will try to record more league, more stuff. Uh, and always on Elf. That's my pet deck, I love the deck, so it will be pretty much always on elf and uh yeah now that i own the card i will be able to record it more often thanks guys and uh see you next time